Hello, this is Scott Barrett, and in this short training video, I am going to demonstrate how you do a listing extension to the listing agreement um, using um, functions in the back office website. Um, and it really automates things. So let's get started. I'm in the back office website. And so um, you have a transaction. I'm going to go into transactions and you have listings. So in this sample, um, you basically, your listing uh, term with the seller is coming up to expiration and you and the seller um, made an agreement to extend the period of that listing. And so um, you'll take your active listing and one of the functions right here from transactions is expiration date. So you'll click here. Basically, um, submitting this will create the residential listing agreement expiration date extension addendum form. Changing the expiration date will require you to execute a copy of the form, be stored and assigned back in the back office. Um, at that point, you'll after you execute, realize that you also have to attend to the MLS and extend the date in the MLS. But um, for the purpose of executing the agreement to do so, we do it here. So this shows the current expiration date. Um, it's a ways off, but for the purpose of this demonstration, um, I can go in and type a date or I can select a date um, from a calendar. So um, it's going to show that we're expiring on June 9th. Um, but let's say we get till June 30th for the purpose of this demonstration. So my new expiration date with the seller will be 0630 of 2019. I hit submit. And what happens is um, the system obviously has the data in it for this transaction and it automatically created the form. And not only did it create it, it's completed. So um, I can see a pretty strong image of it, but if I can't um, read it and I want to, um, we have a button here that called zoom in and I can zoom in. So in this example, Sam Smith is the owner of the property. The date of today is entered there. The address to the subject property that I have listed is there. And then it says seller hereby agrees to authorize the following expiration date change to the terms of the residential property listing agreement between owner and Florida Luxury Realty executed on. And this actually pulled in and put the original uh, execution of the listing agreement date there. Extend expiration date to, and then this will give the new date um, that we've agreed on. Okay, so that form, and then it will require the seller to sign. So I'm going to zoom back out because over here, it gives me two options. One, I can download the form, have it signed by the sellers, upload the form back into the system. So I can hit the download button, and it downloads in the lower left corner the actual form. So therefore, I could, and I'm opening it here, um, actually print it and go see my seller, have them sign it that way. The other method would be option two. To utilize the uh, e-signing system um, that's already in, embedded in the back office website. So because I did a good job and I put my seller's email address in the data and when I created the transaction record, the seller is automatically shown here and the email address for the seller is automatically shown in the box. If I didn't do that, I would have to type it in here. And so it's really, I entered the new date, hit click, I get the form, it's all ready to go, and I can hit send for e-signing. So it takes me back here, um, but let me go. I'm gonna go into the email, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like as the owner, um, the seller receives an email. And so I am the seller and I open the document and here I go. So the seller will see the document they need to sign. They click 
put in their signature, hit sign, hit auto dates, hit done, and that's basically it. Um, eventually, there will be um, an email that comes back to you as the agent that shows that that action occurred, that the seller had signed it. When I come back to my transaction record, I can now go into Docs. And what happened here is that the system automatically knew what this document was when it threw it through the process. Um, and then so it bypassed your requirement to assign that document to a particular um, requirement or file. And it automatically put it in here, res residential listing agreement expiration date extension. So it's already assigned, it's in review. Um, I can also go back here and I can see um, that, that that was also done in my uh, signed documents. So this demonstrates how you can um, execute an extension to a listing agreement in the transaction record from the back office and how it is completely automated. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please watch other videos that will help you learn and earn.